Hello everyone, wish you the blessings of the Noble Triple Gem for a happy and peaceful life. I am Venerable Jinananda from the Hilda Javaradana Rami Buddhist Monastery here in Ottawa, Canada. Today I am going to talk about vegetarianism and its importance for a happy and peaceful life. When we talk about uh, vegetarianism, it has been a topic of conversation since Buddha lived in India 6th century BC. It has been a, a, a good topic for our discussion today because it unfolds many good teachings in Buddhism with regard to vegetarianism and also eating meat and fish and any other animal products. In order to live a peaceful life, you should be able to protect yourself and others equally. When we look at the Sila section of the Buddha's teaching, we can see that he emphasized the fact that we should uh, extend loving friendliness to each and everyone in order to make us stronger in the training and also our compassion should go to each and everyone. With the first precepts of the five precepts, we learn how to love ourselves and others equally. So, you cannot uh, put others in danger because you want to survive well, you want to live peacefully. When we eat meat and fish, what exactly we do is uh, killing living beings for our survival, which is not right ethically and also environmentally and spiritually. Uh, when you killed cows, pigs, and those big animals, you imbalance the ecosystem and make the whole environment in danger. So that uh, they are part of the environment and we should not destroy the part of the environment for our taste, for our well-being, I guess. Uh, it's a matter of taste according to the Buddha's teaching. People crave for different taste so that they eat meat. So my suggestion according to Buddha's teaching is to select uh, what you are going to be. And if you want to be a compassionate and kind human, why don't you try with some vegetables and uh, leave those animals uh, away from your consumption. Because you are practicing kindness and compassion in the plus first place to become a Buddhist. You are letting go of your desire so that why... Why don't we wait uh, to let go of the desire of taste, especially eating meat? With regard to the Buddha's own interpretation on uh, eating meat and fish, we can see that he put some recommendation on monks and nuns, especially uh, about eating meat and fish. Once uh, his physician called Jivaka came to the Buddha and asked the question, uh, what do you do when you are offered some meat or fish? Does the Buddha accept the meat and fish when people offer? Then uh, Buddha answered very nicely to that question uh, that uh, we monks can accept fish or meat when only they cleared their mind with three things. The first one, if you saw your devotee killed an animal for your dana, for your food. That is the first one you can reject. And the second one is if you heard that your devotee ha had killed an animal for your food so that you can reject it. And the third one is if you have suspicion about the food you receive, uh, that uh, this uh, food is made by killing an animal purposely, for, for the dana, then you can reject it. These are the three occasions Buddhas are asked to reject the food. And at, at the same time, in the same discourse, he emphasized the fact that eating elephants, um, you know, flesh, lions, tiger, bear, horse, dog, snakes uh, are not good. And he prohibited eating of those animals because if you eat their, uh, you know, flesh, uh, meat, they will feel it, they will sense it, so that they will attack you, definitely. So that Buddha asked not to eat them, 
and uh, the environment and factor is that they are big animals uh, who make the environment system system balance uh, when they eat grass or uh, that 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 makes the whole system rejuvenate and when uh, lions and tigers kill the, the cows and deer the population uh, growth of those cattle and deer balance and then uh, what about the dogs and snake they also provide some protection uh, for the environment especially dogs they are very friendly to human so if you eat the meat that is really bad they so that the buddha put rules on monks and nuns not to eat them and for lay people we know the fact that you sometimes do not have choices because in some part of the world you cannot grow vegetable because of the weather condition because of, of the condition of the soil but eating fish and meat would be much easier but when we comes to uh, ethical and spiritual part what exactly you have when you eat meat or when you eat vegetables there is no act of killing when you eat veget uh, meat fish and any animal products but some people argue that we cannot eat meat or fish or any animal products because we remember those innocent animals so that they turn themselves into vegetarianism which is good i guess and then some people do not eat me any animal products because of the allergies because of different uh, bodily conditions so they select uh, vegetables as their main food as their constant food i think whatever you do you you should do with clear investigation if you attach to vegetables so much so that your mind become polluted and if you attach to uh, meat and fish and other animal products Uh, the harm is happen with with the attachment you have so i am for vegetarianism because it is simple and it doesn't make any uh, difficult mental thought because sometime if you see how people kill animals for in large scale for selling uh, you would definitely become so upset uh, disgusted about it and do not eat meats anymore so all the way it is safe to eat vegetables uh, if you look at the nutriment uh, side you can get all the nutrients by eating vegetables carefully and uh, you can find protein and vitamin and iron uh, and other important nutrients with vegetables so in only thing you need to do is to change the food pattern so you, you for week you eat one type of food then you change it but in in some cases some people do not have that skill but if you want to practice this vegetarianism it is uh, not against anything else but it is good for your health physically and mentally and it is good for you, uh, in many ways lastly i just want to emphasize the fact that that uh, eating vegetables provide you some good health evidences are there in from some research research studies that if you eat vegetables constantly uh, your health is going to be uh, improved and uh, the the problems like heart attack and cholesterol would be much less so that uh, you would uh, live a quality life and perfect life uh, with vegetarianism so that i encourage you to have it and it gives you so much good results most importantly moral ethical and spiritual essence you can get out of this is huge so that uh, eating vegetables is really good for buddhist thank you very much and may you all have the blessings of the noble triple gem